So, um, I was gonna say I had Eden's Blessing last run. Uh, let's see what we start with. <coughs> um, yeah. No. Ooh, why are you doing this to me, game? How am I supposed to grab these? You can't put two fucking secret items and just dangle them in front of me like this. What is- no! No, 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 no. You can't do this to me. I am not playing your silly little game, Isaac. Well, at least it didn't turn into anything good. Fuck you, Isaac! Fuck you! Middle finger emoji game. I'm not playing your silly little- I'm not playing by your silly little rules. First, you're gonna give me a terrible Eden's Blessing item that I don't want to deal with for today. And then you give me a, a run with lots of great opportunities that you dangle in front of my face and just out of reach so I can't actually get them. Screw you. I'm not playing by that. I'd rather die standing than live kneeling. I am not letting myself down to that level. If you're gonna dangle something like that in front of me and not let me have it, I... Okay, fine. Well, we'll stop talking about the, the hypotheticals, the things that have happened or didn't happen or could have happened. Instead, hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. As you can see, I'm playing Isaac today. I just want to have a fun, casual run. Nothing special, nothing to think about too much. Just, just enjoy life, right? And the game has been doing everything in its possibilities to prevent me from having that. So I am going to become the Joker, <laughs> if this continues. I want that. Do I blow up my donor machine for it? I don't think I'm gonna get enough money out of it. But I damn well will try. I certainly got a lot of money. Holy crap. Two more coins is actually feasible. If I do a good job looking for a secret room, or just find more money on the rest of the floor, we are looking at a potentially great situation here. Because I would love that damage about a champion belt, man. It's gonna do me so much, so much good. I just gotta get there. A bomb and a key to open a chest that could potentially have loads of coinage. Mm, well, you're doing a hard bargain. But I think the secret room takes priority. I knew it. It was so likely to have money inside. I am very glad I had my priorities in check for once. I Sometimes I struggle with getting my priorities in check for that. But this time around, I did have them in check. And there you go. Champion belt for me. Thank you very much. Love me some good old damage ups. Love that tears up. Let's not forget about Lost Soul. I left him behind, not re-rolling him, hoping he will make himself useful. I don't like this little fella, so he has to earn his, earn his keep here. If he pays out with something good as I make my way down to this floor, even just an item pedestal will already be a good payout, he gets to earn, he has earned his keep, and I will try to actually protect him. Honestly, anything can pay out with here is good though. Wow! Okay, so by the way, I installed a mod. You can read up there what the item does, but I'll run, uh, you'll, you'll see in a minute. I installed a mod that I saw in the workshop that adds the revelation from the original anti-birth mod. Because they changed revelation to the way it works now in Repentance, but this is the original revelation, which is basically... It's essentially a mix of revelations effects, aka flight and stuff like that, but also the tiers now have the brainworm effect, which I love. Brainworm is one of my favorite item trinkets in the game, and now I have an item that has its effect, which I think is really cool. So I installed this mod, because I thought, hey, this is a cool item. I liked the original revelation from Anti-Birth, and I was a bit, a, a tad disappointed when I saw that they changed it. Obviously, it's still good in Repentance, but yeah. I, I didn't expect to encounter it so soon. Lost Soul, you have earned your keep. You get to live for today. I will do everything in my power to make sure that you stay alive. Also, I have so much money, I may as well check the shop. <gasps> what the fuck is this run right now, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What the f- What the f- What the heck? Oh yeah, I get special tiers too, by the way. This item is pretty good, as you can imagine. It's revelation. It's a quality four. But yeah, it's- this is the- one of the few times you'll see me install a modded item. But I think this one is done really well. I think it, uh, it has a bunch of cool effects. It's not too overpowered, but it's nice. And I like it. And, uh, it will probably stay here for a while. <laughs> it's, uh, one of the few times you'll see me actually get into modded items in Isaac. For the time being. I never thought I'd see the day, but... I saw this item and I was like, you know what? That is enticing. That seems like a great idea. God damn, I am shredding wormwood. My tier rate is kind of crazy, to be fair. Give me the damage, and uh, I'm just gonna head out. I'm just gonna head down. 
Lost Souls alive? Yeah, let's go, dude. Lost Soul, I love you. I don't hate you anymore. You have earned your keep. Okay. I appreciate you played out with an item. I don't appreciate what it turned out to be, but that's fine. I can reroll a little bit. This is a floor where I can get a lot of charges, so I'm not too worried about it. Lost Soul is really pulling his weight right now. I don't know why he can't do this when I'm playing the Lost. Uh, why, for some reason, when I'm playing the Lost, he chooses to always pay out with Soul Hearts or Eternal Hearts and never with the items. And now, as soon as I'm not playing the Lost, he's like, by the way, I, I had these items lying around all along. I could have paid out with these all along. I just chose not to for some reason. Guess bro was just being a little stingy with it. I'll just take this. Okay, HP is fine. Wait a minute. Did Lost Soul just die from touching the white fire? I... I didn't know that he could. I am actually a little upset about that. I am very sorry to my friend Lost Soul. I didn't expect that he would die to that. But oh well. Such is life, I guess. Such is life. Kind of tempted to actually take Acid Baby now that I think about it. Because it is a conjoined piece, right? I think conjoined is going to go crazy with uh, Revelation. Well, Ancient Revelation. Yeah, you know what? I should take it for conjoined progress. There you go. I'll reroll the... Uh, the curse room instead. Wasn't this where the white fire is? Might as well get in here without losing any more HP. Roll this. <sighs> I don't think I want false PhD, man. Let's get another charge before the boss. Should have done that anyway. Should have used it on that anyway, but whatever, right? Well, who we fighting? Min Min? Had a feeling it'd be you. You scoundrel. At least I can never miss Lamel, because I got the brain worm effect. <laughs> hey. I just like brain worm so much as a trinket. And I was a bit sad that there's no other items that give you that unique type of homing. So the fact that there is an item now that does that is nice. Yeah, I was gonna... I was thinking we were going for damage or tears. I went for the tears. No deal. That's unfortunate. Give me that. More tears. I've hit the tears cap, matter of fact. I guess I shall go and reroll that curse room again, considering it... Yeah, I might as well do it this way. Considering it doesn't really have anything of note. Anything of interest. And I'll gladly take a spun piece. Yeah, there's a guppy piece there too, but... 48 hour energy. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wasn't expecting that to just be in the golden pill here. Okay. Roll me. Ooh, restock or steam sale on the same pedestal. That's a nasty one. Mmm, I want 9 volt too. This is a tough decision. I should grab 9 volt and then might as well roll again. Oh, I want those. I want those so badly. I'm sorry. I won't be able to go old puff, but which one do I take more? It's a tough choice. It has to be mystery gift because I can get another roll with uh, with the battery lying around. Okay, I mean so far so good. Oh my god. Oh, I need a minute. Hold on. Okay, so obviously I get glitch crown, right? It makes my birthright a bit obsolete, but like I obviously get glitch crown, right? Ah, I get to have one of these runs. This is exactly what I wanted today. I am so glad the game has provided me with exactly what I wanted. Might as well rock this. Golden pill a little bit more. All right. Yeah, we're off to a good start here. <laughs> uh, what do I want most? It can't just be the pack. That's boring. Uh, I'll take... I'll take... Little horn. Yeah, that's good. I don't have an incredible luck yet, but I'll get there probably. God, my range got fucked by those golden pill plays, huh? Like, it's, it's so over for my range. Yeah, I need some range ups again. But I can afford to go for them. Because, yeah. Might as well check what's in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I... Mm, I won't play it yet. Because maybe my shop is amazing as well, right? And maybe I want to spend my money there. Cover all your bases, right? Oh, it's greed. Well, never mind, I guess. What is the card? Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> Absolutely not! Nuh-uh! Mm, nope, not happening. Not in a million trillion years. I was gonna say, surely these are bound to reroll into something. To be fair, this fixes my range issue. The problem is, I don't want the... I don't, I don't want... I, I don't really want my reflection right now. It's kind of like the finding synergy item. I don't know how it's gonna work with revelation. I guess you could always try out. I'll consider it, okay? For now, I'll try to maybe get some more money. Get some more plays out of that. Okay. You know, all that stuff. Maybe get my angel deal finally. That'd be great. Wouldn't mind seeing that on this floor. Ah, oh, there goes Lost Soul. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You've done great for me this run so far. I, I love you, but, you know. No deal? I, 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 I didn't even know this was possible. Can't really get tears ups anymore. The damage out of Jesus Juice isn't all that. And I'm pretty sure this is way more range than Jesus Juice would give me. Yeah. So I should, uh, 
take this range up. I actually need the range. Oh, it's so much better. Getting perfection is cool. Unfortunately, I feel like I will uh, lose it very quickly. <laughs> this is not here to stay. I, uh, I've already made peace with that. I feel like it will disappear. Oh, well, that's polyphemus. <laughs> well, that is polyfucking-femus, dude. Thank you very much! Mm-hmm. My tier rate is still great for polyphemus, which is amazing, obviously. Never gamble. This is what happens when you gamble. Never mind, keep gambling. It will all work out for you. Nothing crazy on that either. Roll me. Wow. Tech. I need to see 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 bendy tech. As much as X-ray vision would be crazy. I need to see tech. It looks so cool, it's yellow! And I guess I'll take the halo. So there's nothing else really exciting on here. Thank you. Bendy tech is much more exciting to me. Now I guess I don't need the range. Oh well. Oh, it's so cool! Yes! <laughs> This is exactly what I hoped for! Oh, I am joyous. I am overjoyed with- I'm overcome with joy and happiness. I am the happiest person on this planet right now. What do we have? Uh, an inverted moon card, huh? Send it. None of these are crazy exciting to me. Maybe echo chamber. But the reroll potential is so huge, I gotta. As much as I love having tech right now, imagine if I get brim, right? Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Parasitoid doesn't work with tech, right? That's Brittle Bones. I mean, tier rate would be crazy. Obviously, Scyphe would be crazy. Let's just take Scyphe. Just be safe, all right? I don't really need a tier rate right now. Anything, anyway, I think I'll be fine without it. What I do need is a charge. So thank you very much for that game. And let's have a look at what this can turn into. Boom! It's like, why am I dancing? And it's it's because of Abyss. I was like, oh yeah. That item is Q4 for some reason. Literal detritus of an item. Polluting every item pool it's in. Steps one, so I might as well fight the boss. I should get another charge, because I will finally get my fucking angel deal, by the way. I've been waiting for it this entire damn time. It's gonna show itself at last, but still, it took long enough. You know what's a rough life that I've been living lately? Just uh, just something that's that's been tearing away at my sanity ever so slightly, is that I live in an, ing in an ingredient household, right? My My parents love cooking, and we have like a bunch of raw ingredients just chilling in the fridge and stuff. But there's no like nothing ready to eat in the fridge. Like even even like when it comes to like stuff that you could put on like a piece of bread. We don't have any salami or anything like that. We don't even have any ham. We got none of that shit. If there is anything like that, it's usually frozen. And I always forget to thaw it out and take it out the freezer. So it's just, well, it's stuck in the freezer forever basically. And uh, I'm not I'm not getting it out of there because I always forget about it. So you know it pisses me off a little bit when I want to get like a snack sometimes, and it's like, well, either you just cook a full on meal or just have a, a full on meal or eat the same shit you always eat. There's no other options, buddy. It's a bit annoying being in this ingredient household. There's nothing to eat. Though to be fair, I think part of it is also the laziness of nobody really wanting to go grocery shopping because well we do have a bunch of frozen food and. Ah, uh, we'd have a bunch of canned soup upstairs. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat all the canned soup. I'm not I'm not that boring. Basically, I just want to have like the ability to have a bit of a snack late at night if if I'm a bit peckish. Is it too much to ask for a man to find a nice slice of salami or ham or something like that to put on a on a slice of bread and then eat? Even if it's Ill Ill advisable to do that late at night, I still would like to be able to do that. Is that too much to ask? What's a man gotta do to have that privilege? I guess learn how to cook and then use whatever veggies and frozen meats and whatever else you have left over to accomplish your goal of making a dish. Yes, okay, you're right, but that doesn't mean you should say it. Uh, roll me again. Well, that's Hemolacria. I need to know what Hemolacria is gonna be like with this run. Thank you, I almost messed that up. Maybe I should just start doing my own grocery shopping, buy like ready-made stuff when I just want to be able to eat something. Like, I know this shit ain't healthy, but I kind of just want to eat a cup of noodles sometimes or something like that, right? Just have like a ready-made meal, something I can just whip up in like five to ten minutes at most. That doesn't take a lot of effort to make. That doesn't take a lot of ingredients to clear. Well, there goes perfection, by the way. It was bound to happen. I made peace with the fact that it wasn't going to be lasting forever. I feel like there's other people that can share this, right? Like you live in an ingredient household and you're like, I don't really want to go for... Why am I looking for a secret room there? It can't be there. You want to go... You don't want to really go for a full meal but you also are a little peckish and would like to have a bite to eat just something. But because it's an ingredient household, the only things in the fridge are like vegetables and that's pretty much it. It's it's a it's a nightmare, bro. I'm not gonna start ordering takeout or anything like that. That's way too expensive. But uh, I, I guess this will motivate me to maybe start getting into cooking. Cause like, th this used to not be as much of an issue. 
because I would usually only have two meals a day for the longest time, uh, which is why probably I maintained to be as skinny as I am even without uh, working out for the longest time. But uh, far more importantly, I started getting up way earlier, right? I started getting up at 9 a.m. most days now, actually every day, which in turn means... Uh, yeah, you're gonna get hungry pretty soon. Having two meals a day is fine when you're getting up at 11, because you're gonna have breakfast at 12, and then you can have dinner at like 5 or 6 p.m., and then you're probably good for the rest of the day, depending on how large your dinner was. You're not gonna get that peckish anymore. But if you get up at 9 and have breakfast at 9.30 or 10, you're you're gonna be hungry by like 1 or 2 p.m. already. Like, I struggle to hold out until dinner sometimes, which is, like, I had dinner early as hell today because I was just so hungry, so I ended up having it at, like, 4 p.m., which is crazy. I need to start having lunch, man. I need, to, I need to learn how to fucking cook. I need to learn how to make food or just have, like, stuff that's ready, easy to prepare, right? So I can make myself a sandwich or something at, at a time of need instead of having to rely on either some random chance that there might be leftovers that my mom cooked on the weekend or... Uh, uh, just starving, I suppose. That's the alternative. Plus side is, I will not put on much weight, ever. I kinda wanna see what Macho's lung would be like with this, but the charge time would be so atrocious, I can't. I'll take a mulligan, I guess. That seems like an okay item to have. I can't, I can't take Macho's lung. I haven't gotten the Macho's lung synergies mod, which is part of the issue as well, to be fair. Oh, there goes Lost Soul, by the way, unfortunate. I would love that black candle, mind, uh, mind you. It is funny to me that the Bible is showing up in every item pool now because of Rosary, but I also never have to take it or worry about it, because it'll just be re-rolled. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is this long-winded long bit that I keep getting derailed from. I think I'm gonna start learning how to cook. <laughs> I mean, it's not like cooking is necessarily hard. I feel like there's two definitions of cooking, right? There's the act of cooking food, which that is the easy part because you can literally just follow a recipe, which is following a list of instructions. As long as you give me a list of instructions that I can follow one to one to a T, whatever. That's easy. Anybody can do that unless you're like, I guess, physically or mentally impaired to a degree that doesn't allow you to do that anymore. Yeah, my condolences if that's the case. But most people will be able to cook a recipe if they're given it. If they're given the instructions, if they have all the ingredients and all the utensils they need laid out before them and are giving first grade instructions on how to cook a meal. That's... anybody can do that. The real deal is actually not having a recipe, just having a bunch of ingredients laid out in front of you and making whatever you can out of that. And that's... yeah, I gotta learn how to do that part. <laughs> like, I, there was a time when I was like 14, 15, roughly, when I would sometimes cook my own meals after coming home from school, and I don't really know why it stopped. I, I don't know why I stopped doing that. Um, double revelation? Why shouldn't I, after all? Let's have both of them. Both the ancient one and the, no uh, the modern one. They synergize, after all. I'm pretty sure the beam should bend and stuff. Like, back when I was 15 or so, I would usually cook meals when I came home from school, because it was a convenient time when I would still come home from school rather early on average, but also there was nobody home for me to cook, right? Because my grandma died a few years prior. She would usually always have lunch for me ready, but you know, she wasn't around anymore, so I had to fend for myself. So that's what would usually lead to me cooking my, uh, for myself at that time. And I could do some basic stuff. But at some point that I stopped doing that because as I got into the later years of school, the, the final few years, I would be in school until the afternoon most days. I wouldn't be home by noon most days. So I would just get lunch like, in the city. I would just walk down into the city to a random, you know, to a random fucking food stop and just get something there instead. That's kind of like ordering takeout, but at least you don't pay the, d the delivery fee, right? And I could just get something there. Could get a kebab in town or bun with whatever on it at the, at the butcher's shop, something like that, right? There were many, many possibilities that were open to me now because I was in town all day. And also I had my own car, so I was able to just drive in and wherever I wanted to really you know, that, that really opened up that freedom, and that's stopped me from really having to cook much for myself. But uh, now that I'm at home all the time, maybe I should start getting into cooking again. Considering I do happen to find myself with a decent chunk of free time occasionally, maybe it's not the worst idea. Maybe it's not a worst idea to slot that into my day, just cook myself a meal from 1 to 2 p.m. every day. Just have that in there, and it should work out mostly fine. I'll consider it, I suppose. I know that we still have like a massive stockpile of just pasta. We just have a massive stockpile of pasta somewhere in, in a cupboard that I can probably just burn through considering. I gotta have something to eat, right? I don't even have to go grocery shopping. Just cook that shit, maybe, maybe fry it in some butter or something like that. Get some meat on the side, random assorted veggies. We've probably got a ton of eggplants or zucchinis or 
Uh, probably some broccoli. Matter of fact, we're growing some veggies in our backyard, right? Uh, maybe get some of those tomatoes and use those in that. There's possibilities of all kinds. I've already been eaten healthier, but I suppose uh, cooking the meals yourself is going to give you an even greater appreciation for it. cooking healthy meals. I was hoping you'd pay out with an item, but I suppose... I suppose you can't have everything in life. Whatever, let's just uh, kill the boss, which is Teratoma. Okay, well, it's dead. <laughs> Pretty, pretty damn fast. Wow. <laughs> well, okay, well, what? <laughs> Obviously, I have to take Sacred Heart, right? But man, you're giving me a lot of choices here. Holy Mantle on that pedestal as well. You got Stairway and Holy Light over there. God damn, it's such a tough choice. There's so many things to get, but I gotta get Sacred Heart. I mean, come on. Look at the damage. <laughs> And guess what, I'm getting another angel deal this floor. What the fuck, dude? What the heck? This is getting kind of outrageous. It's getting kind of insane. Amnesia? Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I guess I'll just try to find the boss and fight him. Yeah, whatever. That'll do. Oh, mom's heart and goodbye. What's my final angel deal got, huh? A wafer and a star of Bethlehem. Honestly, I'd rather stick, take the star here, man. This- ah, that wasn't even the star. I messed up. Oh, well. That just happened. Oh, yeah. Lost soul state alive. Hold on. What you got for me? Eh. More homing? <laughs> Uh, I'll take sinus infection, I guess. I messed it up, okay. I'm getting the timing wrong now, but whatever. Who cares, I suppose? It doesn't really matter. Time to utterly annihilate... <laughs> just completely rock Satan's shit. Like, he is not ready for this. Bro does not deserve this, but also he totally does, because he is, like, the devil at the end of the day, right? Keeping my revelation beam for the final phase, just to annihilate one of his legs. There we go. That felt good, didn't it? All right. Anything cool here? Ah, yes, right. Of course, I got Glitch Crown. <laughs> I don't even want Mom's Knife. I, I do not care for Mom's Knife. Do I want... Prop? I don't think so. I, I'm one piece away from Conjoin, so I should take Rotten Baby here. I will honestly just reroll everything else. I feel like I can fish for something cooler. Uh, like Cricket's, bo uh, Cricket's Head, for instance. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, uh... Yeah, I'll just fish for something else there. Oh, that's Ipecac. <laughs> maybe I should have taken... Maybe I should have taken Explosion Immunity. Okay, well, I can take it here because Pyromaniac just decided to show up. And then I can also afford to take Ipecac uh, as much as I would love Marked. Oh god, it's right after Isaac's heart. Better not mess this shit up. There we go. Let's charge up a Revelation Beam as well just to really hammer home how uh, powerful I am right now. <laughs> Roll again. Oh, that's Tech X. Oh, that's Tech X, huh? Yep. I'll gladly take that. Yep, I love this. I love this. <laughs> I love this. Yes. Libra. Now I gotta take Play-Doh cookie though. Play-Doh cookie? RGB rings, maybe? Let's go. God, I'm getting way too many items as well. This is getting outrageous. I'm getting way too much shit. This is, I don't need this much stuff, man. I don't need all this stuff. Dead eye. <laughs> I mean, it's not really gonna be active all that much, is it? But... If it is, then I'm all for it. I didn't mean to take that, but I suppose it'll do. I can re-roll it. Eden's blessing to pay it forward. Maybe tomorrow it won't pay out with uh, absolute garbage. That would be great. Let's just kill this motherfucker in, like, one shot. Yeah, uh... <laughs> it, it'll be over in the blink of an eye, brother. Don't even worry about it. I'm literally gonna one-shot, like, for everything here. Yeah, I'm one-shotting every phase. Even the summons, they, 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 like, they disappear. With the lingering stuff. I'm one-shotting every phase of it. Uh, Deadeye is active too. <laughs> I, uh, goodbye. <laughs> You've been deleted. Oh my goodness. And you're gonna let me do the void? I, uh, sure. Don't mind me. Delirium. I sure hope you are ready for what is approaching. He can probably hear the explosions already and he's uh, quivering in his pants. Oh, delirium! Yeah, you're dead, okay. <laughs> Look, I expected to kill him quickly. I expected him to at least, like, I don't know, not die instantly? Oh, yeah, matter of fact, a host outlived him. That's how, that's how crazy that was. Anyway, that was an insane run, dude. Wow, hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. I'll see you again tomorrow or whenever. Yeah, have a good one. Bye.